All right. Okay, okay, okay. So this is a stream for Black Hat SEO, click-through rate manipulation. Before we get started, uh, I want to make sure that everything's working. I'll come back and edit this, but this will be for Black Hat SEO CTR manipulation. Let me make sure everything is on before we get started. I uploaded this before. I had to make a few edits, and then I got tied up working. So my mistakes, my apologies, but we're going to go ahead and get into this video. Let me make sure everything's up and running. Everything is looking alive and well. Excellent, 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 excellent. Great to see you. All right, then. So uh, I guess we uh, let's get into it. Hello there. My name is Chris Palmer. In today's Black Hat SEO Techniques for CTR Manipulation and more, I want to go ahead and walk you through a particular technique, actually two techniques that you could start utilizing today for a magnitude of different black hat SEO activities. Now, of course, you can utilize this particular method or strategy or technique for CTR manipulation, but you can also collect affiliate commissions. Now, I'm going to walk you through this is obviously for informational purposes only, and I'm going to go ahead and show you two separate techniques, two separate methods, and I don't want to waste any time. I want to go ahead and point out that Google made and, and posted this particular photo. I want to go ahead and do this first. Uh, this was a month or so ago, and I noticed that the gentleman in the photo had a black hat. I, I just want to go ahead and uh, point that out. It's the only reason I'm showing this. Also, too, if you're interested in the script that I'm going to be, that I created for you, you'll be able to get it here. All right. So uh, that's it. Now let's keep moving on. So first and foremost, you are going to need a couple of things. One of those things is going to be a website. Now, for the second technique, you're going to need two separate websites, one being clean, one that will contain a lot of our code. Now, with this being said, you will need a website. So you're going to need a website that has root access so you can edit the index uh, HTML files. And also, you're going to need access to another site, so two for our second technique, but for this site, You'll need either a code editor or notepad. Along with that, you will also need access to your root document file so you can upload a JavaScript file and also edit your index.html. Now, if you're not sure about any of this, I will walk you through all of it. And in the first comment, I'll also share the link of where you can get this particular script. All right, so and I'll be more than happy to share it with you. Now, a, a, a word of precaution, all right? Uh, you know, uh, anything you go and do, I mean, that's, you know, I, I'm sharing the code. This is for information, all right? <laughs> so uh, everything else is up to you, my friend, all right? So let me go ahead and share this with you. So what we uh, went ahead and did is we've gone in and we've created a particular script. All right, so inside of the script, I added my affiliate code for my favorite SEO tool, which is SEMrush. All right, so as you can see here, so SEMrush is who I use. So I'm going to be using this for the example only. All right, now with that being said, uh, I've also gone in here and I've created two things. All right, so first and foremost, I want to go ahead and explain this. Uh, and then we'll walk through the process step by step of how it works. So the very first thing is we are creating a particular pop-up that's going to be hidden. Now this could be utilized for two things. One, and again, I have two techniques for you, so stick with me. One, it could be used to launch any page or multiple pages. You could play with it, right? I'm giving you the script. You can work with it. It can launch a page without the user even knowing that it was launched. Aside from that, it can also launch those cookies without anybody even seeing it. All right. 
Now, this type of script is the on-click type of script, which will launch the head hidden window. Now, with that being said, we have gone ahead and utilized our affiliate link for SEMrush. Along with that, we have some dates and times, and, and this particular is set, so it will only show once uh, it, 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 it has a timing feature. All right, if you want to change that, that's completely up to you. So with that being said, this will be the JavaScript function. And this here is going to be the script. So at script type, we have to call the JavaScript and this will be added to the HTML, all right? So you need to go ahead and name your JS and this will be inside of your the share file that's going to be in the comment section below. So please note this right here is going to be uh, inside of your HTML, this will be inside of your HTML, this particular script here. This is what your file is going to look like. This one down here goes into your HTML. With that said, you're going to need to change this JS, whatever you name this file is what you're going to name here. So it's going to be yourwebsite.com and then you can name it whatever you want. You can name it JSP, you can name it whatever you want, but it needs to be .js, so that's JavaScript, okay? So when you first get this script and I share this file, you're going to want to go ahead and cut this out and then you need to save this. Now I've already gone ahead and saved this as a JS file. So when you save it as a .js, it should look like this right here, as you can see here. All right. Now here's what we need to do. First and foremost, you will need to go into your, um, You'll need to go into your file manager or your cPanel if you're on WordPress or Drupal, whatever the case may be, you need to be able to have access to your .index or your HTML files, all right? So the very first thing that you will need to do is you will want to go ahead and go to your root file. And inside of your root file, you will want to go into the upload section and you'll need to upload the JavaScript file, all right? So you will go to select file we're going to go over here to the desktop and then you're going to click on your JavaScript file, the one that I shared with you. And let me just double check this. Okay. Oh, I want to share this with you. Edit. So let me share this. So in between these two portions right here, if you can see this here, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Font. We'll go to 18. See this part right here where it says var uh, p-u-u-r-l? All right. This, in between these two quotes or little commas, uh, this is where you will want to put your affiliate link or any other link. Now, if you manipulate this particular parameter, you will be able to add or utilize multiple URLs, but for the sake of this demonstration, we're just going to utilize the one, all right? So we'll go ahead and uh, we can close that down, but we want to go ahead and load this particular file. Now, again, this will be at the root. So once that's done, we will want to go back. You'll want to make sure that your JS file is sitting on the root. So this is the root directory. And then here is the JS. Now after that, the next step is you need to go into your public HTML file. Now I've been playing around. I want to create just a static URL. I just want my website, my main website. I just want it to be uh, HTML, right? I just want a super fast, super clean site, super old school. That's what I'm rolling with from here forward. Now with that being said, you will want to go ahead and launch the index.html file. Again, if you're utilizing WordPress or it, whatever you're using, you have a index.html file. All right. Now inside of this particular HTML file, this is your web page or whatever static page that you're serving or a dynamic page or whatever the case may be, this is what your document's going to look like. Now, right up here, right underneath the title or under the meta characters or anything up here inside the header part, because we want our script to call, we want it to be one of the first things to load up. What you will want to do is go ahead and add that in. So what I'm going to do is right underneath the HTML, I'm just going to go ahead and just put that script inside of here. Again, it will be shared with you. You can go ahead and grab it. Now remember that file that we uploaded, it's going to be yourwebsite.com and then that JS file that I shared that we just uploaded to the root, that's exactly what we're calling and we're going to call it within this script here. All right, so it's going to be loaded in the background. So we're going to go ahead and save these changes. So now we've gone in and we've edited this particular 
um, uh, the HTML page. Now remember, this particular script is based on a click attribute. All right, so what we need to do is we need to go in and add a clickable link. So for this demonstration, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here to the bottom where the page content is, as you can see. I have some uh, lore mipsum here. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a clickable link. So for the sake of this example, what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, it's a Pac-Man symbol. Um, I'm sure you know the terminology. A refs. Okay. Equals. All right. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. For fun, we'll do uh, Chase Reiner dot com. All right. Then we will do a little Pac-Man the other way. Okay. Then after that, what we're going to do is we're going to put click on this. Or how about this? How about cookie dropper? <laughs> Right, we'll just write cookie dropper just for fun. Then we're gonna do a Pac-Man, we're gonna do a slash, we're gonna do an A, and then another Pac-Man symbol. All right, once you're done doing that, we will go ahead and click on the save. All right, now it has been saved. Now, just to make sure that it's done correctly, we will go to chrispalmermarketing.com. Okay, don't mind the site, I'm, it's under construction again. Okay, we'll go to chrispalmermarketing.com. And then as you can see here, we have the cookie dropper right here. Now what we'll do right, just to make sure we don't have any of the cookies already in the system, we'll go to our incognito window. And as you can see, we have a clear browser window right here. So first and foremost, we'll go to the website. And then you will want to click on the cookie dropper. Once the cookie dropper uh, lands. As you can see, we're taken to the Chase Rayner website, but over in the background underneath, as that loaded, we also loaded our affiliate code. All right. So I'll go ahead and show you that one more time. It happens very quickly. So what we'll do is we will go over here. We'll go to a new incognito window. We're going to go to chrispalmermarketing.com. We're on the page. Let's say you're sharing a template. All right, let, let me explain a little bit more because this might not do it. Let's say that you're sharing a template or something of value where somebody wants to click. All right, uh, maybe it's a button for contact us. Maybe it's hidden within an element that's not plain as day that says cookie dropper. All right, but when they click on it, they're taken to get whatever they want and that page is going to show up, but also we're also loading, all right, underneath it, we're going to load our particular affiliate code. All right. So what this is, is this is a hidden pop under JavaScript execution, which we just did. Now I want to walk you through the next technique, which is relatively old school, but I'm going to go ahead and share it with you anyway. All right. Cause it'll be fun. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need two sites. All right. Now, a lot of times when you're working with particular affiliates, they're going to want to check your they will want to check that you have a legitimate site, that you're getting traffic, you know, depending on who you're working with. Now, with that being said, this is just an example. All right. These are just examples. I don't do these things. Uh, it, it Depending on the affiliate, right? I, I love SEMrush. I would never do that to SEMrush. But now let's go ahead and move on. All right. Now, before we move on, we're going to head back over here. We're going to go back into the C panel and we're just going to go ahead and edit this briefly. All right, because I don't want just, you know, knowing my luck, this will get crawled and then I'll be given uh, Chase a, a link and uh, we don't want to do that. All right, so let's go and get rid of that and we'll go ahead and save it. Okay, now let's go ahead and get out of here. Now, again, you will need uh, two sites. All right, now what we're going to do for this particular example is we're going to head over here to SEO. Um, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go to sites.google. Oh, wait, I think it's on this one. We're going to go ahead and open up a third party site. All right, so we're going to go to sites. Here, we'll go, we'll go to this one. All right, so this is just a G site uh, that I'm utilizing for a whole nother purpose, but it'll also be fine for what we're going to teach right now. 
So what we'll need to do is we're going to need to have access to the secondary website along with uh, our first website. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, load these in two separate windows, but let's go ahead and log into this. So we're going to go into here. Uh, let me just get inside of here quick. We'll go inside of here. We're going to go to our drive. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right. Now, once inside, the next method, I'll, I'll probably show you three, actually. I got another one for you. Uh, it'll be an expansion of what I'm about to show you. Now, this is pretty old school. You might know this one or you might not. Uh, this is another way to cookie stuff, all right? So let's say, for instance, uh, you have multiple affiliates, right? Now, I only work with a couple of companies, primarily the ones that I use every day. Um, so obviously, I don't necessarily uh, recommend, you know, I might not use... It's the only affiliate codes I have, so I have to use them for the demo, okay? But that doesn't mean, you know, you can check my analytics. All right, so let's go in here and do this. This is just a demonstration, all right? So we're going to go to uh, YouTube. I just need to go grab the code. Uh, we're going we're gonna to look for uh, Chris Palmer SEO. I just need to grab the code quick. We're going to go to indexing backlinks because I know I have them. Hard to discover new audiences? Oh, goodness gracious. All right, so inside of here, uh, we're going to go in here. Um, oh, I thought I added them in there. Dang it. Here, let's go into... I, I just need to go grab the code quick. Oh. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a second code because we're going to need two. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. Uh, another great tool that I use and I love is uh, Page Optimizer Pro. <laughs> it's getting late. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and make a um, we're going to make a list here. So we're going to use our Page Optimizer. All right. Uh, and then I have another one here. Um, Let's go up here, and what we'll do is we'll grab this particular affiliate code as well. All right, so we're going to grab both the codes. All right, now you can utilize as many as you want. All right, now again, this is for informational purposes only. So how we want to go ahead and do this is we have our clean site. All right, now we can use a little bit of both methods. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you through this briefly. So how this will work is just like this. So we're going to go ahead and grab this particular link. We're going to bring it back over to our domain that we were working on before. All right. We're going to go into our index. All right. Um, let me reload this. Uh, let me take a look down here at the page content. All right. So we're inside the page content. And then what we want to do is you're going to have your legitimate site. All right, so you're going to you're going to head out to a legitimate site. Let's say it is, I don't know, we'll just do it this way. We're going to do a, a heading tag. We're going to do Pac-Man ahref, okay? Space equals and then you're going to do uh, https colon forward slash forward slash uh, google.com. All right. Um and then you need to uh, close that one out. And then you're going to put um, get your template here, right? Or I don't know. How about uh, something somebody would want, right? It could be, you know, contact me or anything. It could be anything. It could be inside of a button. It could be literally anything, anything that's enticing. All right. So contact me now, I guess. I don't know. Anything you want. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and close that out. And then after that, you need to put the this one. You're going to put uh, this. And then you're going to put this. You're going to put this. You're going to put an A. And then you're going to put A and then this. OK. So let me take a look at this here quick. Ahref equal. 
Um, oh. Okay. So now we have that. Now we're going to come up here. We're going to save this, but now we need to go in and edit our script, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to head back out here to the uh, JS file that we're calling, and we're going to go in and edit that. All right, so we're going to edit that. And instead of sending it to that affiliate link, what we're going to do is we're going to send it to our dirty site. All right, so it's going to click on paste. So we're going to send it to our dirty site. All right, so the script is going to send them to the dirty site. So we created the link that's going to an enticing place. When they click on that, it's going to load the dirty site, but they'll still go to where they wanted to go to get the item that they wanted or whatever, whatever you want. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on save. Okay. And then here's how this is going to work. So we're going to head over here to back to our site, back to our dirty site. Uh, we're going to go in here to SEO consulting. All right. So we'll just head to the main page here, I guess. It doesn't matter. Okay. And I need to be inside of here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a, we're going to, we're going to add an embed. All right. So the embed code is here. Now you have two ways of adding your embed. You could be blatantly obvious with your embed and make it a zero zero. Or if you really want to get have a lot of fun, what we could do is we could go ahead and hide these embeds. Now a hidden embed is just as fun as showcasing it and making it a zero zero. Instead, we'll just go ahead and hide it. So if you're not utilizing this site or if you're if you're using something where you want to hide it, that's fine. If you don't want to hide it, you can just use a regular embed code. So here's how you'll go about doing this. So I, I made a demonstration here, so we'll just take this frame code here. Again, I'll, I'll share this with you. If, uh, I'll share it just for fun. I mean, it's pretty simple uh, to create, but here's how you'll hide a frame. So here's the demo. So all you need to do is you need to take the code. All right, so this will be the share a sale, okay? And we'll just go ahead and throw that into here and we'll paste it, all right? So this is gonna be the frame. We're gonna go ahead and copy it we're going to bring it back over to the dirty site. This is the dirty site and we'll put that in. Okay. So that's a hidden frame insert. All right. So again, look at, there's nothing there. Now, no, nobody will see that. The only people that know it's there is you and I. So what we're going to do is we're going to create yet another code. Okay. But this time we want to grab our second link. Okay. So this way, it, and you could stack these, you could make as many, you could stuff as many as you would like inside of here. All right, now I'm just doing two because that's the only people I really work with. Again, this is just for demonstration. All right, so we're gonna go to next and then insert that code, okay? Here, I'll put it over here. All right, so let me just make sure here. Um, I can't remember if I, um, whoop. All right, so we'll grab this frame here and we're just gonna put this right inside of here. Paste. And then we'll just take this frame, copy, bring that down and we're just gonna add this one again. Okay, insert. Edit code and insert. Okay. Now publish. Okay. Now those are hidden. We'll just publish that briefly. All right. Now what we want to do is we're just going to go over here and we're just going to go to, uh, because I don't know if they, I don't not, it, I usually don't do this on these sites. So let's, we're gonna go and check and see if Google strips them out, the hidden ones. Because if they do, then all we have to do is just put the regular code in there. All right, but I'll go ahead and show you how this works. All right, so let's go inside of here. Uh, what we need to do is get the link. We're gonna copy this link. We're gonna come over to here. We're gonna paste it in there and we're gonna go and check it out. Now we're going to go to right click, we're going to view the page source, we're going to hit control F and we're going to go to SRC. All right, so we have the APIs, so there's 13 of them. All right, so content. Uh, all right, there it is, hidden frame, there's page optimizer right there. Okay, and then the next is right here. 
All right, so both embeds are here. And as you can see, they are hidden. So let's go ahead and take a look. We have two hidden embeds sitting directly on the page. So here's how that would work, okay? So let's say that uh, there's a user. We'll go to our incognito window. Let's say they head over to chrispalmermarketing.com, all right? Now they're like, oh man, I, I really want whatever this is. Let's say that's a button. Let's say it's a, a movie download. Let's say it's a template, a plugin, a theme, a, an application. It could be anything, anything anything right anything to get a click they click it well I might have messed it up there let's go back over here um, uh, URL um, should be okay as long as there's no uh, the inside of here. Let's go ahead and save these changes. No changes were saved. Let me just take a look at this. Let me look here. Oh, looks pretty good. Okay, let's get rid of that. And we're going to come over here. We're going to go to New Incognito. We're going to go to Chris Palmer Marketing. And then once we're inside of Chris Palmer Marketing, we'll click. Uh, I must have erased something or did something stupid. That's okay. Here, watch this. Here, we'll go to delete. Okay, we'll just fire it back up. No problem. Oh, it's no problem. So, <laughs> here's what we'll do. Uh, we'll just go inside of here because we want to execute it, right? We want to we want to follow through, right? We we want to see this baby in action. <laughs> so we'll go to select files, and and what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to load the script. So we'll go ahead and put that script inside of there. All right, perfect. We'll go inside of here. And it is sitting here. Let's just make sure that it's sitting where it needs to be. And it is. And then all we want to do is go in here and edit the code. And we'll go to edit. And now let's see where we messed up. So where did we mess up? All right, let's go in here and uh, get rid of this https colon forward slash forward slash and we're gonna head over here and take a little looky oh is this where it was inside of here let me take a look here is that oh it's the podcast one okay copy that link and then we'll come back over here we'll go back into our JS file here and we'll just uh, paste that in there okay I must have did something something silly. All right, we'll go to Save Changes. Okie doke, looks, uh, looks pretty good. So now all we need to do is uh, we'll save that. Looks like we saved it. We'll close this out. We'll close this out. All right, we have our index. So we have, uh, we're calling our script. We'll hit Save This Change. We'll close that out. And then what we'll do is we'll just go in here and we'll launch a new incognito window. We'll go to chrispalmermarketing.com. We'll launch this. Ooh, I I have a funny feeling that Google's doing something fishy there. They're not they're not having it, dude. <laughs> they're not having it, man. Uh, you know, Google might not be the best for this. Um, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. So hey, there you go. Uh, so we don't <laughs> use a Google site. Uh, for some reason, they're not allowing, uh, they're not letting that fly. <laughs> uh, so that's always fun on a stream, huh? So um, you get the gist though, right? So what we did is we went in here and we hid, um, we hid the frames, right? So we hid, Two separate frames so we can launch um, when they come here those an embed is going to launch meaning the cookies are going to drop so if you hide 50 embeds onto a page and a customer goes to the page whether it's whether it launches immediately or not on click like I set up here right with our script 
um, not a Google site, but uh, any other site, it's going to drop every single one of those cookies. Now, let's talk about uh, this from a CTR manipulation standpoint, all right? So with that being said, uh, um, let's go over to here. Let's uh, let's see if we can get one going on this site here. Chris Palmer Marketing. Okay, it's kind of filmy. Oh, it it launched for us. Uh, it's it's loading the. Um, I must have swapped it. Yeah. So they're not it they're not flying. It's going to a secondary. <laughs> That's so awesome. The the cache must still be kicked in. It it didn't refresh yet. So from a CTR standpoint, if they're clicking on something and you're forcing them to go to a page, or if you have something of value or you're running traffic and you want something else to launch and launch it in the background hidden, this is a way to implement this. Also a secondary thing that I'm showing you as far as CTR is concerned, embeds, in order for an embed to launch, whether it's hidden or not, the page and its contents are being rendered. Meaning you're getting time, it's being counted, it is there. So regardless if you're dropping cookies, whether you're trying to generate a click, whether you're trying to generate traffic, whether you're trying to generate a commission. I wanted to go ahead and walk you through these techniques, these strategies. I hope that this has been helpful. I hope that you've enjoyed this. It's been a lot of fun. Probably don't add a uh, Google, maybe go for a blogger um, or a secondary. I, I, I have a funny uh, suspicion that perhaps Google is stripping that or, or, or they're not allowing that type of activity um, in some way. Um, but with that being said, my name is Chris Palmer and I look forward to seeing you in the next Black Hat SEO CTR Manipulation Techniques video. Have a wonderful day. All right. So let's get out of here. Um, we could get out of this one. All right. We're going to head on down here and we're going to open this up. And since we're here and we're talking, um, good evening. Chris says it's three times. Say it three times. Uh, okay. <laughs> good morning, Chris. Good morning to you. Enzo, good evening, Chris. Hey, good evening to you. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, just so others can find it, if you hated it, this way too. Uh, whatever is, is best for you. Um, I have some other stuff that I'd like to show tonight. Um, I'm interested in uh, seeing if you guys... Um, we're, we are going to be launching the new tool coming up. So I will let, we'll go ahead and uh, share a little bit of that with you today. Um, so let's let's get in there and, and, and we'll, we'll take a look at that. okay So I'll show you some of the uh, benefits and the features. Um, uh, and that's about it. Let's take a look here. Um, here we'll go here. All righty. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll take a look at the new tool. What I'll need to do is go ahead and enlarge this just a little tiny bit. Um, oh, actually, you know what? It doesn't matter. All right. So if, if you want, this will be a demonstration. This part of the video will be chopped off, probably the last part too, because I figured out that Google isn't going to let that fly. So that's fine. Uh, with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to head over, um, and, and I'll, I won't, I'm going to make a secondary video out of this. So um, basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and showcase a tool, brand new tool, uh, that has two main functionalities two very powerful functionalities. One of these functionalities um, 
that a real standout is, is we're able to search back multiple years uh, within the web archive, the Wayback Machine, in order to find domains that are expired that contain content based on your input of keywords. Now, not only am I able to pull back the content for you and give it to you, but also uh, as a massive added bonus, not only am I able to go ahead and showcase and find the content for you, but I'll also be able to showcase the domain of where it came from. Now, if you don't understand or perhaps maybe uh, you're not seeing the massive benefit of being able to search the Wayback Machine five years, 10 years, and be able to find content based on a keyword that's expired and also be able to know that domain in order to buy it. Not only am I able to go and get the content, but I'm also finding relevant websites for you in the Wayback Machine without doing any manual work. If you've ever been to the Wayback Machine, we'll go ahead and take a look here. Wayback Machine, I just wanna show you something here. Let's go in here and take a look. And if you've ever, if you have ever, oh, this isn't it. Let's do a way back machine. If you've ever been in here to try to do this manually, it's it's complete madness. And, and this is why um, we went ahead and um, created this tool. There's 563 billion web pages. So if you, if you look inside of here, we'll, we'll go in here and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and take a look for um, something that you might want, right? So let's go in here and take a look at, let's say, I don't know, um, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a pull for HTTPS and we'll just say it's SEO, I don't know, SEO.com. <laughs> So you're, you're looking at SEO, let's, you know, you can't necessarily pull in by keyword. And then there's multiple captures of a particular site. So then you can go into their old content and start pulling out uh, content. But wouldn't it be awesome if you could just go back 10 years and search very quickly? Plus on top of that, there's a moving, fresh index of content, right? And websites, there's always, Every single minute, there's a, a, a domain expiring. Actually, it's it's more on a time basis, but every day there's new ones. There's fresh domains every single day. There's fresh content every day. There's content that's expiring that needs to be utilized by you. And there's also websites out there that have the content that you need, that have the authority that you need, and you need a fast way to find it. So the fastest way, um, you know, this was driving me crazy as I was building my own network. So what we put together, um, was a tool called articleextract.com. So that's articleextract.com. Now, with that being said, that's the domain I'm working on that. But if you go to app dot, because the uh, application sitting on the subdomain. So app.articleextract.com. Now, obviously, um, you'll need to set up an account and, and these things, but we're not... We're not quite there yet, right? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share with you a um, a URL that if you're interested, all right, if you're interested, you know, basically, really, I only want to offer one plan, right? Like, it's unlimited. And the reason is, is because you're able to get the domains and you're able to get the content. You know, I really made this for me, <laughs> Um, so basically it's, it, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Like I'm, I only want to offer it to a, a select handful of people. Um, yeah, so that's that. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do that. All right. Now inside of here, I've, I've already gone ahead and did a couple of, searches um so i did some on the 13th 13th and the second um just as we were testing it so we have some google my business google seo so if we come inside of here and you take a look as you can see 
Um, we've gone ahead and crawled based on just a few um, search terms. And I'm hoping that uh, it kicked back some, oh, it, it, it looks like it's pulling back uh, the expired content. So even if it's on, <laughs> that's interesting. Um, so that's a fun little feature. So if it's if it was on the still live domain <laughs> and it's expired, it'll still pull it back. So you'd still have to go through and, and have a look at, at what it's kicking back, but at the end of the day, you're you're really able to get a jump start here. So let's let's just take a look and see what kind of content we got. So as you can see, um, what we've set up uh, is actually something pretty awesome. Uh, because it's only kicking back uh, if it's containing at least 200 words, okay? Now, you can feel free to take this. Uh, this was pulled out, so we can just take something like this. You'll copy it, and then if you have, you know, I, I don't know what you're using. Like, maybe you're using a tool like Siphon, you know? So, mass.page. Uh, my good friend, Daryl, has an excellent rephrasing tool. Um called Siphon, which I'm probably going to use. But if you don't have access to mass.page, perhaps you have uh, Word AI. Word AI, right? Uh, Word AI works pretty good. Another good one, uh, if you want to take content and just spin it, maybe you're putting it on a PBN, maybe you want to rewrite it, whatever the case is. You know, maybe tier two, tier one, if you really want to clean it up, you can just send it to a low cost writer. It's completely up to you. Um, but really, I just wanted to go in and, and showcase some of the content. These are some of the pulls that I've done. Uh, we'll just click on another random one, this one. So this one didn't kick back much of anything. And this is why I highly recommend and really just want, um, you know, just a select handful of people that are interested in A, finding the content, uh, but B, see, this is junk, uh, B, uh, also looking, oh, you know what, This I think this is part of the old one because it was looking for port 80. So here, let's go in here and, and let's see, because that was a little tricky when we were developing this. It was tricky trying to, you know, we were checking based on port, but if, if the site was, say, like squatting on the domain or referring on the domain or whatever the case, it would, it, it would you know, the refer, like the port 80 would say, hey, this is an expired domain, but really, it's actually there, you know. Um, so it, we implemented a extra little, a little, you know, a little something. I don't want to say exactly it because that that was a big stumble, and um, you know, I don't want to give away the secret sauce, I guess. But so let's do another search, and then I'll show you how this works. So when you come inside of here, what you're going to do is, let's say you're a plumber, right? Did I spell that wrong? I don't know. Plumber. Uh, Plumbing, whoops, plumbing. Um, uh, I don't know, I, I'm sure you could come up with 20 words, but let's do plumber, plumbing, uh, best plumber, right? We'll do top plumber, uh, 24 hour plumber, uh, I don't know, local plumber, right? And, and, and you get the idea. So what you'll do is you'll submit this, and then what will happen is we will send you an email because this has to go back quite a bit of time. I, I would highly suggest going in and, and putting all of the search terms in. Uh, as many as you can will definitely bring you back more results. Uh, when we come in over here to the dashboard, we'll go here to downloads. Uh, and it will take a moment. It should send a email. So what you'll get is something like this. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. We'll come over here to Chris Palmer. We'll go to Gmail. Um, doesn't look like it's done yet. All right. So if it's not done yet, it's not done yet. So this is what you'll get back, something just like this, your queue has been completed. Okay, hello, Chris Palmer. Uh, hi, your queue has been completed. 45 URLs have been fetched. Please click below to view your result. 
all right and this is coming straight from article extract all right so this is what it's going to look like um this is exactly what you'll get as soon as the crawl is done okay uh, so that is article extract. All right. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you. I'm really excited about it. Um, but I, I really, to be honest with you, I'm looking for, I don't know, 10 or 20 people that would be interested. Um, you know, the, the next piece that I want to do is I want to be able to, depending on how many people are you know, are looking for expired domains a lot faster um, and based on keyword and also looking for expired content. You know, this is more for uh, an agency or somebody that's a little bit farther along in the, in the SEO cycle. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a, uh, a, you know, a new guy that wants to hop on kind of tool. But, you know, the first wave of people, if, if any, um, will really depict, depict where the tool will go. What I want to do or, or something that I'm looking at is I want to be able to um, say how many articles I want. Um, I also want it to just go a little bit faster. I mean, it's on a, it's, it's, it's pretty fast. Um, it's just that return, it takes a little bit of time, you know? So um, what we'll do now is we'll go in and I guess we'll, answer some questions if you have any it doesn't have to be about anything uh, it could be about the tool it could be about pretty much anything I just wanted to go ahead and share that with you guys let's go in here and take a look at um, let's go in here and take a look at these 29 URLs for SEO quick uh, let's take a look and see what it got me so that looks pretty cool that's a nice little chunk let's see this one Okay, but I guess that's at the minimum. And then I think this was a little bit older. Yeah, this was on the 13th. So this was before the new uh, setup is done. So uh, we put a limiter on that. So it, it only, it has to kick back at least 200 words. This might be 200. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a lot when you're standing there. You know, so this looks pretty normal. So, and that's why I really feel that the... Um, the kickback is what I'm looking for. This is returning some type of code, Google SEO. Um, let's go take a look at that domain. Where was that? Search engine experts.au. Let's go take a let's go have a look at that domain here quick. Um, because it's now again, this was from an old one. It might it might be up or they might be squatting. Um, because this was before we implemented the new way of crawling these domains. Yeah, so that's probably why it returned that. It was searching by port, uh, which is an inefficient way of doing it, which took us a while to figure out, but that's okay. Um, and, and that's another reason why I really like Unlimited, because I, I, I want people to be able to run a bunch of them, right? And, and that's what I want. That's why I only want a few people. Uh, I think we can have a lot of fun with this. Actually, I know we can. <laughs> uh, so this is cool. I, I love the tool. I wanted it for me for finding expired domains based on keyword. And I also wanted to be able to just pull content, you know, like pretty much. Uh, I'm also going to probably implement uh, an API, like a, a Moz API. You can go and get the API keys really cheap. So what I'll do is I'll probably integrate like, a thousand of them or 500 of them so this way we're able to pull these uh, DA and PA relatively quickly and then I want to add the um, validation for like say you have your own API key maybe you have SEMrush uh, perhaps you have AREFs or, or whatever you want I want you to be able to plug it in so you can see the metrics that you like majestic whatever you want you know um, but I think included complimentary will do Moz because I can get the key pretty easy you know <laughs> Um, so yeah, not the most reliable metrics, <laughs> but hey, they're metrics, right? I'll give you a general understanding of what we're looking at. All right. So I hope you guys like that. Does that look pretty cool or not so much? Um, what we'll do now is I'll go ahead and, uh, uh, pop a, um, 
I'm going to go into my platform or whatnot, and uh, what we'll do is we're, we'll add a link. So if, if you have any interest at all, if you have any interest at all in Article Extract, uh, when it launches, you'll be able to just go ahead and get on the list. Uh, without me having any issues, you know, that way I, I automatically know um, if you want it or not, or if you think that it's cool and, and you want to try it out. Um, you know, I'll probably do like limited trials or something like that um, so you can get a general feel for it. But I mean, we're making big crawls, um, so it would be a very short. A very very short um, trial <laughs> because there's a lot of resources being used um, so in any case let's go in here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a, a product and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it a uh, it's gonna be a digital download and it's gonna be for the article extract um, list okay so we'll go ahead and create that list um, pricing it will be free availability it's gonna be a pre-launch right we're pre-launching this available for purchase uh, visible um, pricing details It'll be under training and giveaway. It'll be in both sections. Okay. We'll go to the files and what we'll do is we're just going to go ahead and add, uh, we'll add the, you know what I'll do? I'll add the script for the JS. Oh, we don't accept code files. <laughs> I bet you don't. I bet you don't. So I'll just throw this advanced schema picture in there. So all you have to do is you have to uh, come over here. I, I'm looking to see how many people might be interested. So we'll publish this now. Um, and this will be the article extract. So what we'll do is we'll just view this as a customer. Okay. And uh, yeah. Copy. All right. Looks like it's good to go. Uh, embed subscribers, promote download. Okay, so view as a customer. Alrighty, there you go. So if you're interested in that, here I'll put the link in here. Just get on the list. Um, black screen, yeah, just for a second. I was looking at something uh, that I didn't necessarily want to showcase. So. If you're interested in getting on this list here, it's just the article extract list. I'm looking for about 20 people. Uh, you know, 10 people is fine too, but very limited um, for article extraction and finding expired domains that have content very quickly. On limited runs, um, I'm looking for 10 initial people. You know, um, that's what I'm looking for. All right, uh, I'm probably, I don't know yet. Somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty or a hundred dollars a month, somewhere in that range uh, for unlimited runs. I need to take a look at the ten and see how much resource it is, and then I need to factor in server cost. Once we uh, look at uh, cloud computing and server cost, and I I can come up with an equation, then I can figure out what the price is going to be. Once I have that initial seat, uh, then I could see what they think about it, what could be changed, and how I can improve the tool. But at the end of the day. Uh, I'm looking personally, because I made it for me, I want just a few people that I could share it with, um, but I'm looking for a tool that can scrape 10 years really, really fast, pull out the expired domains based on a particular keyword, show me the domains, show me the metrics, show me the content, and also I want it to display how many pieces of content are on the site if it can, and then also along with that I want to automatically be able to click it and take me right to buy the, buy, the, buy it, you know. Um, I just want a, a little system. 
uh, and then as as time progresses depending on how many people I get on I want it to be I want to be able to pull the content and be able to plug that content right into you know probably like a generator an HTML static page generator or something along those lines something that I can just get it buy it pull it launch it boom you know so that's what I'm looking to do I don't know what you're looking to do but that's what I want to do <laughs> I just want to be able to crank them out, you know. So that's that. Um, if you're interested, uh, I urge you to please get on the list. Looking for about 10 to 20 people that would like to uh, help me build this thing. Um, it's it's ready. Um, but with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and uh, throw them in a hey, gotcha black screen yep 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 you have any questions throw them in the chat i'd be more than happy to answer them if you liked the pop under script if you like the cookie stuffing if you like the hidden iframes if you like the ctr if you like the little hacks and tricks and techniques that i shared if you liked my tool anything thumbs up so other people can find the video if you hated it this way right that's fine engagement's engagement uh doesn't really matter with that being said what we're going to do is we're going to head out and we're going to look for the best html what we're going to do is we need to create a html page for my new tool a static page so best html websites in the world right i'm looking for questions also feel free to go ahead and ask them so we're going to go to the uh words what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out here and we're gonna go out there and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna recreate one of these sites. I really like this. This yellow. Wow, that is intense, man. I'm looking for a purple. Ooh, look at this. That is pretty cool. Hmm. This is cool. Man, I don't know. Let's see here. So I've seen this site before, an ad, are you kidding me? Okay, okay. I don't know why I'm being uh, served this ad. This is remarkably uh, spammy. <laughs> this is coming from me. Uh, <laughs> oh, just made, literally just made a video on how to... <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. That is just my luck. Look at this. Now, this is cool, man. This is what I like. Minimal, super simple, super easy. Just the most basic site ever. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's so simple. Other than that, whoa, that was cool. Actually, that was pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That was pretty sick. Whoa, look at that. That is cool. Whoa. Yo, this site is sick. Dude, what? Dude, this site is amazing. Oh, it's in a frame. Oh. Dude, this site is a wild, man. What a beautiful site. Absolutely phenomenal. I love it so much. It's got the parallax. I really like that type of animation. Um, let's go over and see if we have any questions um, while I'm drooling over that. That was really cool. Laugh out loud, ironic. If you hate it, as they say, double click the dislike button twice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, so uh, go ahead. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free. Um, throw them in. Uh, but if not, uh, what I'll do is I'll do the old school like I used to do, and we're going to go in and, and look for questions, right? Um, right after I find something I really like. I was thinking about copying my buddy site because I like how it walks through. Um, I really like how he says, oh, step one, do this, right? I really like the way this is. Mass.page. I mean, maybe not the design, but I like the idea, right? Like, this is plain, but I love how he, like, like here's the first thing to do, right? It's just so basic and so simple, and I love that. 
here's step one, right? Step one, you gotta buy it. Step two, right? And he just walks right through. Step two, with calls to action every step of the way, right? See how simple it is? Bam, takes you right in. It's actually a JavaScript. It's probably, uh, who knows? But definitely super cool. I, I like the way this is. I, I wanna do something similar to this. Um, where it's laying out the process like step one, you know, create your keyword list step two, uh, you know, set your budget step three, right? Like Just walking you through it. I think that is super cool um, I really really like that. So categories I'm just looking for the most basic site that looks beautiful. I want it to run fast um, Speaking of basic and running fast I um, I was just looking at, and here's one of the reasons why I want to switch over. So let's just go to GT Metrics just for fun, right? I know it's not the best, um, or even better. Let's go to uh, webpagetest.org, right? We'll come in here and, and we'll put in our HTML. This is one of the reasons why I'm switching over. We'll go to chrispalmermarketing.com. We're going to go ahead and test from... I don't know. Um, I don't know. Virginia. Let's test from Virginia, right? Uh, let's test. Let's test from. Yeah, we'll test from Virginia, utilizing a iPhone. All right. So we'll use the iPhone X and we'll start the test. Let's see how that loads. And while we're waiting for that, um, just to get a general idea, um, let's keep having a little look here. Oh, this looks very similar to... Oh, you know what, I kinda like this. I wanna see what this animation is. Bridge toward preparing my experience. Scroll to. Whoa! What? That's cool, man. What a cool sight. Whoa! Dude, that is really sick. Wow. Dude, that's crazy. This looks so sick. This site is sick, dude. Wow. Look at this stuff. <laughs> what? Look at this. Dude, that is... Dude, I'm blown away by this. That is amazing. That is just simply amazing. This is madness. I really like this one here. I'm really... This one's really cool. Look at... And you can just... Wow, that's so clean. I really like that. <laughs> wiggle it. Watch this. Wiggle. It says wiggle. Okay. Wiggle. <laughs> here, let me see here. Ready? Here, scroll. See, I like that. I, I would like my page to do that, and it would just say, like, article extract. <laughs> I have no idea how they're doing this. Let me take a look at this source. Wow, this is cool. Let's take a look at this here. Let's line wrap this. Wow, look at all this. I guess that's where it's at, huh? This has a lot of stuff going on here. Goodness gracious. Amazing. Okay, with that being said, I don't want to get too far off track here. So security is an F. Uh, that's to be expected. Cash, uh, cash static content. Um, yeah, I didn't do that. But let's go ahead and take a look at our cumulative layout. Largest paint. Not even a second. Not even a second. That's awesome, dude. I love it. Faster than a second crazy stupid fast let's take a look at our time the first bite uh, Dom loaded there it is 
Uh, eh, that's actually, I, I, I could definitely get it faster. Let's take a look here. Oh, so these, yeah. So we're, it's, it's lightning fast. Um, I'm really happy. I, I can straighten out a lot of those things. I just started playing with it, uh, but I think that's the way I'm going to go from here forward. Um, uh, add in um, using the product. Um, I'm I'm taking in to find a few people. Again, it's going to be fifty to a hundred dollars on a monthly basis. Um, people in the group I'm going to give a trial to. So if you want a completely free trial, join the group. Um, and you could join it right on that same thing. If you are interested in being basically uh, a beta or alpha user, I guess you'll be an alpha user technically speaking. Uh, because it'll be the second iteration of people testing it out um, because we're pretty much ready to rock um, so what we're uh, what we're looking to do is get about 10 people on board 10 to 20 um, and really what I'm trying to do is calculate server costs so I can determine a uh, price point right um, so depending on how many people sign up will determine the number. I mean, we're it's the very beginning stage, but I know I have something um, unique that's going to be awesome. So please, uh, if you're if you're if you want to use the tool for free, um, join my group, um, which is also very inexpensive. Um, but I'll give everybody there probably a five day trial or so or a three-day trial, probably a three-day trial, just because I'm not sure the ser server resources yet, all right? I want to see how many I can handle, how many requests I can handle. Um, I just want to, I want to see, I want to see what I can do and in, in, I want to see if I can break it, right? Uh, because I want to know how many people I can support. It's very important when you're, you know, developing a tool. Um, I'm pretty sure that the servers can handle it. Uh, but I need to make sure uh, before I start running traffic to the to it, start promoting it, um, you know. So what group? So you're interested in the group. Uh, the group I'm speaking of is if you go to seo.chrispalmer, so that's seo.chrispalmermarketing.com, I have a private uh it's a, it's a coaching, a mentoring program. Uh, it's group consulting is what it is, uh, where I individually do hot seat so I'll do individual questions individual sessions everybody gets their own time we can speak one-on-one -on -one. I'll work you through any problem that you'll have uh, aside from that you know when we run out of time I teach the newest trainings the newest stuff they the group has first dibs I share my lists I share my trainings you know it's, it's my most um, I mean it's you know, it's people in my private group, you know. So if you come into here uh, where it says SEO coaching, right? So this is the group. You'll go to learn more. And if you take a look here, uh, you will see that there's two separate groups. So this way I can keep the groups, the size of the group small. This way everybody gets um, an ample time to speak, an ample time to talk. We can communicate. We can all share and learn and grow together. Um, so there's two separate, uh, I base timing off of the Eastern Standard Time, you know, 12 to 3 is the first one, that's Eastern Standard, or if that's a little bit too early, depending on where you live, I also have a 3 to 6, all right, that's every single Thursday we meet, so you can pop on anytime, doesn't matter, honestly, it doesn't matter, you pick one, join the group, You 12 to 6, you know, uh, I try to segment it though, but if you can't make that session this week, you can join the next one or, Hey, I can't jump here. Can I go on there? No problem. You know, I'm, I'm a, a very leaning guy. There's about 40, 40 guys total, um, in the group. One lady, uh, Miss Holly Starks is in the group. Um, she shares, she's great. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing. Um, I mean, this is pretty basic. And then obviously we, we record it. I record it. Oh, speaking of, I have to upload that. Um, and I upload it every week, right? Um, sometimes I forget like this week. I have a lot 
too many things going on, I think. But with that being said, um, that's it right there. Put the link on YouTube. Yeah, the link's on YouTube, but I'll, I'll throw it in for you. Here you go. Here is where you sign up. Here, you know what? I'll take it a step further. I'll take you right to the page here. Here, go to learn more. SEO coaching. Here you go. Interested in the group? You can sign up here. You'll also, not only do you get access to pretty much any of the stuff that's coming up, so I have, I have the new CTR manipulation training. It's going to be launching very, very soon. You know, I have the new uh, app, which is pretty much done. Just a few more tweaks need to be added. Um, aside from that, I have uh, backlink lists. I have a new backlink list. I have the new Google Stack training. I have an indexing training. Um, you know, I have a lot of stuff coming up. I have some other stuff that's coming up, but I don't want to announce it. Uh, today I don't want to announce it right uh, but um, I'm working diligently on building my brand so um, when you think brand I think a few things right when I think about a brand um, I think like if you look up Gary V you're gonna notice these guys have something in common right they always have the same things in common and it's right here So that's that's something that I'm definitely going to be handling. All right. So let's take a look here. Cool. Yeah, it is. All right. So uh, I guess we'll do the next segment of the video. So I used to do this a lot if you guys don't have any questions. If you do have questions, feel free to go ahead and ask them. But what we're going to do is I like to come inside of here and figure out uh, where people are having some trouble. So I like to come in here and throw in a couple questions. Um, you're able to get a little bit of views. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stats. Um, three up votes. It, 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 that doesn't necessarily matter to me. What I care about is interactions, right? How many people saw me, my name, and my brand, right? Uh, that's what it's all about for me is have I been a, I was able to help whether they liked it or they didn't, right? I was able to help all of these people, right? I, I give very straight to the point types of questions or answers, I mean. Um, so yeah, I don't necessarily ask questions, but we'll take a look at the last 90 days, 3,400 views, right? I don't make very long drawn out and you know answers I don't share photos and stuff so the chances of me getting the upvotes are about slim to none but I am able to share my brand um, I'm able to share my wisdom uh, I've, I've learned the hard way almost every time so <laughs> you know you know there's there's a lot of ways to learn things right like you can learn literally by doing it and and fumbling your way through it or you can learn from somebody. So I, I've gone ahead and fumbled through everything and I've learned from a, a group of about four different guys. Uh, so I, I've had both, but I really fumbled through a lot of it. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at, um, let's take a look at some of these questions here. So answer drafts, how do I use it? Okay, edit, let's do that. So SEMrush and we'll submit. Oh, I've submitted my answer, okay. So let's go in here, I like to go to, I guess these are fine. How can I start email marketing as a beginner? So what I do is I do this. Get a SendGrid account. Then the best step after that is to make sure you're compliant and limit the amount of outbound links. There are a lot of different templates online for sending out mass emails for marketing. There you go. See that? Bam, done. And then I just come back and I just keep them going. How do I know about Google's? 
the best thing to use for finding Google CPC. High cost per click keywords is the Google keyword planning tool. All right. Every now and again, I'll, I'll go in and I'll throw a link in. So yeah, you know, I like to come in here and do this. So we'll come into here and we'll just do, um, I like to stick with SEO. Here, let's, let's create a space. Enter a name for your space. So let's call it Chris Palmer uh, Marketing dash SEO description. Where you learn about marketing and search engine optimization, SEO. <laughs> search engine optimization SEO period create skip let's go take a look at this huh interesting so I know these people okay uh, no thanks people can hopefully find it oh cool Wow, Chris Palmer Marketing SEO. Wow, I didn't even know you could do this. See, you learn something new every single day about ad details. Whoa. So it's Chris Palmer SEO. So we'll do marketing <coughs> SEO. And what I'll do is I'll highlight that and I'm going to put my link in there and then we're going to check and see if it's a do follow because this could be a new uh, this could be a new way to add it and then uh, I'll put uh, learn more learn more SEO on YouTube right with Chris Palmer. I'll put SEO expert. I usually don't say that, but for this, I will. With SEO expert, Chris Palmer. Right? I usually don't like to say that, um, but. And then we'll do SEO and we'll highlight it and we'll do HTTPS youtube.com forward slash chrs plmr like that and then we'll add and then uh update cool okay and then am i getting uh am i getting the do or what <laughs> let's go see we'll do it the easy way <laughs> let's see if that's a do follow because that's that's a handy little little tip here and I guess I could start adding stuff in here this is pretty cool man I actually like this a lot am I able to change the way this looks so what is this a, a, a page authority 42 follow oh man no follow external follow interesting interesting no contributors yet Okay, so views, admins, details are here, posts, edit visuals of your space. Oh, cool. Add your first piece of content. Okay, so make my first post. Okay, so let's add something in here and see what happens. Advanced schema. Learn about advanced schema markup uh, with... Chris Palmer. I mean, this seems kind of uh, spammy, right? But uh, I'm just testing with Chris Palmer, right? And then here we'll just use this. Oh, wait. 
can I make this a link? So let's do a, a href, right? Um, equals https Chris Palmer Marketing dot com, and then we'll uh, do this. I just want to see, does it let you? I don't know. Let's see, post. Uh, get an invite link, okay. Bulk import contacts. Okay, why not? Okay, no. <laughs> Here, select all these people. Yeah, invite those people. Hey, I'm inviting you. Sure. <laughs> why not? Okay, so no, it does not allow you to put in a link. Okay, not that way. So let's go into here. Let's edit. And let's just see if it does a normal link. Well, you would think that it would. Uh... All right, so it does not allow a link. So let's do uh, edit post. Oh, it does. All right. So Chris Palmer. So let's just do it this way. And then let's add it in. HTTPS. Let's see if that's a do follow. Wait, what happened to my link, dude? Where's my link? Add a footnote. Add. Update. All right. So no, the answer is no. The answer is mm, and the word is no. No, 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 no. All right, let's try the footnote. Let's see if that allows me to do it. So we'll add this, right? We'll make it a footnote and we'll call it HTTPS ChrisPalmerMarketing.com and we'll see if that gives it to us. Oh wait, you gotta press add. Son of a... All right, last time. Here, let's do it this way. Copy, bring it over here, we'll add it right into here. HTTPS footnote add. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Update, kind of like a, um, now is that a do follow? Ah, ha, okay, okay. So it says Chris Palmer marketing. Oh, so the footnotes a do follow. Interesting. Okay, we learned something new every day, boys and gals. If there's any gals here, so let's go into here. Edit your credential. No, no, I don't want to do that. I want to stay right here. Okay. So, okay. So edit visuals. So let's edit this and uh, download. Uh, where is the um, desktop? Is it in here? It is not. Okay. So here, let's come over to here. We'll go into the drive. And we'll take a look together here briefly. Um. So my drive, uh, 
photos. Sheesh. No, I don't want that one. Okay. So, hmm. How do I get the photo? Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, I'm going to have to determine that later. Uh, space color. Well, obviously, I want it to be purple. Uh, icon. Well, that I have. Which one should I use? This one? Open. Yeah, dude. Like it. Okay. Cool, man. I'm going to have to make another video on this. It's pretty sick. And then, you know what I'm going to add here? You know what I should add? What we'll do is inside of here, the about, it says uh, where you learn about search engine optimization SEO. So, Chris Palmer SEO. SEO services yeah 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 okay so what I want to do is I want to change this so let's get inside of here admin no oh, I want to be the admin all notifications sure edit your credential Describe. So your credential will be uh, displayed when you post content in the selected space. Oh, okay. How do I change this? Well, we're going to have to get into that later, I guess. So I have a post on here. I don't have anybody following it, so that seems to be pretty... Uh, I guess that's okay. Settings? Oh, wait. I can make money from this? Oh, the URL is this. Chris Palmer Marketing. Oh. Okay, so Chris. The URL can only contain. Okay. So Chris Palmer Marketing. A through Z in numbers. So I guess, uh, oh, so we don't want to change that. Chris Palmer Marketing SEO. So I guess that's exactly what it was before. And then, uh, so this is cool. Okay. Anyway, sorry guys. <laughs> See how I get, man? This is what I do. <laughs> uh, have you updated your CTR training? Uh, no. No, I took it down, actually. I quit selling the old one. Um, I think. It should be down. Let me see here. Uh, CTR. So, oh, that one's, that, that one's gone. Brain box recordings. Oh, this is actually shut down because I just upload them in the group. This isn't here. Uh, indexing, that's on its way. Article extract list. Yeah, there's there is no CTR training available at this time. Um, it's not for sale anymore. I I don't. You know, I make very specific trainings that do very specific things. You know, I don't I don't update. Uh, I, I didn't update it. I just, it, I no longer sell it. You know, I had two different ones. Um, one of the trainings you will be able to find, uh, perhaps, um, I, I'm not sure yet, uh, within a community. You know, if you're inside of the group, uh, I might be able to furnish the CTR trainings if you want them. All right. Hey, Paul Delaney. Good to see you, my friend. Best ranking tools for affiliate sites. Best content optimized AI tools. Uh, I do not use AI tools. Um, I use manual spinning. Um, 
I think that a lot of tools that will be coming out that are GPT-3 are going to be awesome. Uh, I know of one that should be coming out relatively soon uh, that I'm excited for, um, but it's not done yet. Uh, with that being said, that's not something that I spend my time with. I, I'd much rather just... I personally at this time just buy content, right? So yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't see any AI created content competing for anything competitive as of yet, as of yet. <laughs> I definitely think it's on its way though. Uh, best ranking tools for affiliate sites. I, I still think that, you know, regardless of the type of site, whether it's lead gen, local affiliate, I don't do too much e-commerce. Uh, you know, I don't do like the affiliate play slash e-commerce stuff, you know. Um, but with that being said, you know, if you have a good tool for keyword research, figuring out your competition, and also it, it, if unless you know it, a good on-page tool, an audit tool, a technical analysis tool, you know, you need something that encompasses everything. So a SEMrush, um, a POP, you know, something, these are the two tools that I use, and I think they would be highly recommended for affiliate sites. Of course, wait a minute. Let me write my question, please. Please, by all means, go ahead. Hey, Chris, left you a Facebook message. Would you have a one on one consultation with you if possible? Sure. Um, by all means. So you can, uh, if you go to chrispalmer.com until the other site's up. And you just scroll on down here, right? I don't know why this is down. What's going on here? Uh, it's just down. And you click on this right here. It's in blue, right? I dislike this um, platform immensely. Um, they won't give me a refund. I tried. But if you just go to CHRS here, I'll, I'll put it in the chat for you. Go ahead and pick a time. I'd love to have a chat with you. I, I have no problem having it. And then all you need to do is just click on private consulting and then just pick a date and a time. Or you can just go to calendy.chrispalmer, right? So right here, copy and I'll, I could put that in the chat for you too if you're interested in speaking with me one-on-one. -on -one. Just pick a date and a time, all right? I'd be happy to work with you. I have no problem with it, okay? Wow, that took a long time, what the heck? Oh, oh, I think that's gone now. So yeah, um, so this is all interesting. I, I guess what I should be doing is working on my page, right? So uh, let's come over here and we'll go to, we're gonna go into here. We're gonna go into the drive. Um. Uh, recent. Go into here. Mm. Here we'll just do it from here. So we'll go to W three. So in case you uh, weren't doing any static pages or anything, um, you can come over here and go to uh, free. Uh, HTML template W3 school and they'll actually give you templates and along with that they have a pretty cool editor within here right so I'm just simply utilizing a complementary template right so if you come over to here let me see here which one it is this one here go to try it yourself and then you go to uh, let me see here oh cancel that uh, here's the editor try the editor version 3.6 and all I want to do now is go to here we'll come over here to the 
um, drive, right? So we'll go to Google. We'll come over here to the drive. You can actually save it. It saves right to the drive file. Um, just come into here. Just copy this. Okay. Uh, control C. Oh no, wait. You can't do that. You got to do it this way. Um, I think. Uh, open with text editor. Okay. All right. You don't want to let me do that. I'll just right click. And what we'll do is we're going to open this with the HTML Edity. <laughs> it's a cool little name. We'll go inside of here. I think I've used this once before. I honestly like to use, um, I like that little W3 one. But we could do it inside of here. That's fine. You don't have permission to view this file. Oh, I don't. Well, that's kind of interesting because I was just looking at it. So I guess open with uh, Google Doc. How about that? All right. So let me see here. Jeez Louise. All right. Well, let me think here. Uh, all right. So let's just come over to here. We'll go into here, we'll go to here, we'll go to edit, and we'll go to edit, and I'll just copy this, copy, bring it over to here, control A, and paste, and run. Okay, now let's go in here and have a little looky, let's take a look and see what we got going on in here. Okay, so. Now, so this is the editor. You can you have the website here below, and then you can edit up here at the top. Uh, pretty, pretty stationary. Pretty normal thing. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to strip out this script that we were using for, um, you know, malicious intent. I guess if 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 you look at it that way, and we're going to go ahead and scroll down. Let me think of some of these elements that I don't want. Okay. So I actually want a, boy, I'd really like the YouTube logo. All right, so let me see if they have that. Uh, all right, so that's name, email, subject, message. Okay. So action page.php, so I'll have to fill that in later. Let's get in touch. Send me a message. So I wrote that. I guess I should start at the top to be honest with you. So there's the style sheet. There's the icon bar. Right? We'll keep going down. Uh about section. So that's that. Okay. So there's the about section. So hey there, I'm Chris Palmer, right? Chris Palmer Marketing. Then we have my skills. So I guess we don't necessarily need that. Uh, my true objective here is to uh, get people to, you know, either do consulting or, or check out uh, consultation. I have trainings. Um, and on the next page, what we're going to do is we're going to start offering some very, very select services. I just need this basic uh, template. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, so title. All righty. And then Chris Palmer. All right, there's the photos. Let's make this smaller. So in contact section, okay. About, so there's the abouts. 
H2, so the H1 is, okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this an H2, okay? And then this H2 down here is actually the H1. All right. I don't think that that's misnested, so we're gonna put some text here about me. H3 is my skills. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to um, go ahead and add a few of these. We're gonna copy this. And what we're gonna add is we're gonna do, um, so it's gonna be SEO consulting, right? So SEO consulting. No, it's gonna be SEO consulting and digital marketing services, right? And this is actually gonna be a two. All right, so H2. And then the H3s are going to be uh, the links. So SEO con consultation right and I'll just go ahead and just copy this okay copy so SEO consultation okay then we'll do SEO training right and then uh, we'll do one more right here uh, actually yeah, and then this one's going to be um, um, I guess we could just do uh, digital marketing services. I guess that's what we'll call it. Digital marketing services. All right. So services, okay. So let's run that and see what that looks like so far. I wanna make sure that the size is good. Consultation, training, digital marketing, my reputation. Okay, so that's quite interesting uh, terminology. I don't know if that's necessarily something I would write. I, I wouldn't write that actually. So testimonials. Um, so we can actually get rid of this. Also, the um, no one is better than John Doe. Okay, you can leave the P's. Eh, I could add those myself. All right, so we have the div. We can go ahead and add a div tag here. That's perfectly fine. That'll be a nice space there so I could keep track of what the heck I'm doing. Uh, we'll do the section here. This is going to be the portfolio section. Inside of the portfolio, what is here? Let me take a look here briefly. Oh, it's photos. I hate photos. All right. I don't want any photos like that just stacked in there. That's ridiculous and absurd, in my opinion. But what do I know? Uh, let's take a look at this here quick. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to... So my photos, W3, so yeah, this part here is gone. This is gone. All right, and photo grid, and then the div. So we have the div tag there, and then the contact. So that's really what I want in here. I want it to be pretty cut and dry. Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, SEO Consulting and Marketing Services. Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, SEO Consulting and All right, so um All right. Okay. So with that being said, let's uh, let's head back down here. Hey, do you guys have any questions? I, I'd be happy to answer them. Hello, friend. Hey, Phil. Good to see you. Chris, I have some dedicated IP. 
Is it enough to do CTR manipulation with those dedicated IP in incognito? So depending on how many dedicated IPs you have, um, I mean, you need, you need more than just a dedicated IP, right? You're going to need uh, dedicated IPs. You're going to need multiple accounts. You're going to need to be able to track those accounts. They're all going to need to have their own identifications. They're going to have to have their own MAC addresses. So you need MAC address. You need an account. You need IPs. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to need a little bit more than just the IP um, and spoof the refers or, or whatever you're planning on doing uh, you need to go you need to be able to create unique individuals and you need to be able to do it at scale the the issue that you'll run into is that you'll getting you'll start getting ref, uh, return visits right so this is a, a massive problem with uh, you know bots and these tools is because they're able to generate the first round but then you run out. And then if you're just use, using a mass ping bot, right, or, or however you look at it, or it's just running through IPs and generating clicks, you know, that used to work years ago, um, like a supreme traffic bot or something, like a ping bot. These are cool for spiking analytics, you know, looking at photos. Also, they're really good for uh, aging Google accounts. That's something I like to use them for or really cheap or really poor quality affiliate programs, you might be able to get away with it. But anything um, for click-through rate purposes, you know, you need to be able to fool Google AdSense. If you can fool Google 